guys, class is in session. So today I'm going to break down a um, real basic concept that a lot of guys don't understand. And, I, and I'm happy that I was a part of this group and uh, this guy asked this question because this is a perfect example and a perfect question where a lot of particularly beta men get um, hung up on. And, you know, I call them beta orbiters. So the guy, his name is Tino C. And he asked the question, uh, why do women who friend zone you get hurt when you have other women to talk to um now if you look through the comments here you're going to see a lot of women uh shaming this guy basically because they don't like this kind of question they don't like it when guys ask this question they don't like when um men have other women to talk to because they want all the power and they want to consolidate all the attention which i call validation uh, and the reason they do this is because they're just narcissistic. This, you know, it's very easy for a woman to be narcissistic. She uses the attention that she gets from men that she's not interested in, in dating or having sex with to give herself self-esteem and to sort of, she feels it makes her more powerful in a sense it does. Um, but it's faux power. It's not real power. It's not anything that's not, doesn't enhance her character in any way. It actually just builds up her narcissism. So in this, throughout this, um, comment section, all kinds of girls are, are shaming the guy for asking this question, calling him a cuck, saying the friend zone doesn't exist. It absolutely does exist. Um, you know, these women are, are triggered. They are saying, you know, you know, hurry, hurry, ladies, while he's still single. So this is like the you know the classic shit where the woman wants the guy who all the girls want. So the reason why they're shaming this guy is because he asked a question which they consider low value. Really, it's it's because he's exposing the fact that they're jealous. He's exposing the fact that these women are narcissistic and selfish and they do friend zone guys and they do have guys in their orbiting zone. And the reason why they do this is, is again, so they can get the attention so they can get the, that, that faux power that they feel. So first comment is a, is a female saying the friend zone doesn't exist. Don't be a cuck. It absolutely does exist. She's shaming the guy. The next comment from a woman is her ladies while well, he's still single. So, you know, more, you know, more shame, um, let's see. The next woman says, what a whiny baby. And then th this woman here says, uh, some women thrive on being challenged. It gets them off when it becomes a possessive contest. That's a, that's an honest answer. If a guy can pull other bitches, it's practically you baiting them into a challenge. That's a good, honest answer. Um, another one said it's, I think it's more about when they tell you she just like to be friends. So you stop talking to her. So she realized you were you weren't actually interested in getting to know her you just wanted to fuck her it's pretty insulting contrary to your belief men and women can actually be friends so there's a lot of hidden um manipulation in that comment so this person this this sarah woman thinks that a lot of women put guys in the friend zone so that you know she that you know they can see if the guy actually wants to get to know her that's a lie for the most part women don't put guys in the friend zone for that reason they put guys in the friend zone because they're not interested in dating them or having sex with them if a woman is actually interested in dating and having sex with a guy she is going to show signs of that she's going to show signs of interest there's going to be a reciprocal um type of uh interaction between the two verbally which should escalate into an actual date which should escalate into actually getting physical this is what happens with men who are successful with women if you are in in the friend zone it means you have not created attraction you know enough to her or you have shown yourself it like you're so low value that she is not going to actually invest in you she's not going to actually um take any action behind meeting you or anything like that she's just going to make you a friend and what is the friend zone what, what, what is it when a woman says i just want to be friends i mean she's adding you to her beta orbiter lineup she has men who, who she's texting. She has men who give her attention. And this is all part of her narcissistic ego. She does not want to fuck these men. She does not want to be with these men. She, these men are in her orbiting zone. They are orbiters, meaning that she's quote unquote friends with them. When in reality, they're giving her attention. They're asking her out. They're, they're trying to get her. And she's using all that energy that they're giving her to build up her narcissism. So this is a lie what this person says. So this is what women will do. They will lie in order to trick men into thinking that they're these nice gentle creatures and in reality 
the truth of the matter is is that they've got a whole different thing going on that they're not telling you about. They're, they're sleeping with the top 20% of the guys and the, and the 80% are just trying to get in their pants, trying to get in their pants because you know we all know it's biology. Oh yes, I'm interested in you, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take three months out of my time to get to know you while you sleep around with other guys and then maybe I can go out and maybe I can go out on a date with you. Maybe we can be in a relationship. Bullshit. It's not how women work. Um, 95% of women, unless she's a really religious woman and she's in church and she's serious about God, 95% of women are going to, if they're interested in a guy, if they're attracted to a guy, they're going to meet up with him uh, on, a, on an actual, you could call it a date or they're just going to meet up and they're going to, they're going to get down to business. They're going to make out. They're going to, they're going to be, that's just what happens when you're attracted to somebody. The friend zone is a, is a real thing. It's a, it's a, it's a zone that guys get put into when they just, they're not attractive to a woman. Women do this and they lie. They lie to um, trick men into giving them attention. That's all it is. Um, so let's scroll down the comments some more. Um, yeah, just more shaming. Just more shaming, more shaming. And so what I is so these women are trying to shame this guy for for him being you know for him not being a, 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 a you know a beta. They're trying to shame him for not falling into their their friend zone so so what they're trying to do is they're trying to trick this guy into being a beta and this is what women do that they, they make men betas and then they chase after the the quote-unquote alpha um and, and what is an alpha in this case you know an alpha in this case is just a guy who knows what he wants and is not going to sit and sit around and wait for her to decide that she likes him and that's what all men should be doing you should not be in a woman's friend zone you should not just try to get to know her that isn't to say like you say hey what's up want to fuck oh you don't want to fuck okay i'm gonna leave you alone no you, you get to know somebody but the maximum amount of time that I ever give a girl is like a week. Like if she's not like, I, I can easily get to know somebody in a few hours. I can easily get to know somebody in a couple of days. If she's not actually wanting to hang out with you within about seven days of first talking to her, you're in her friend zone, period. That's the maximum amount of time. Yeah, sure. People get busy. Maybe they don't want to go out on a date tomorrow. Maybe they, they can't go out on a date this week. But if if next week they're not free, then she's either messing around with a bunch of other guys or you're in her friend friend zone or you're just low down on the list of guys she might be interested in but women do this they they trick guys into thinking that yeah i'll I mean, you know maybe i'll go on a date with you and w when i get time or they'll say these little things like i'm busy now or or you know uh, I'm, you know my life is just so hectic i'm sorry i can't do it. and what it really is is they want you to add you into that attention zone they want to they want to make you a beta they want to make you an orbiter and this is where guys who are have a little bit lower value Guys who are a little weaker, guys who don't understand the game, guys who don't understand how women operate, you guys need to to step your game up in this case. Stop being the beta orbiters. Stop being, um, you know, stop being weak. So what I said is I said because these women are toxic who get off on controlling men and the faux power they get from it. So again, they, 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 this is exactly what it is. These women, they have men in their rotation. These aren't normal good intentioned good charactered women they're usually sluts and they, they, they thrive off the attention that guys give them while they sleep with the the you know the the alphas um or they sleep with the bad boys whatever so i go on to say they don't like the fact that because they're shitty people that men just move on from them so they try to control and manipulate the men who chase them it's exactly what they do real men understand that these women are shitty they don't play games we can see through the red flags real men who have good character and men who don't play games and they understand women you don't want to be in the friend zone and it's just that's just one of the most basic things um you know about dating and relationships and, and sex and all that you just if you're in the friend zone it's a bad place to be you do not want to be in that place that's like you know one that's like the first lesson on the first page of the first book being written on on <laughs> how to understand women <laughs> you don't you don't want to be in the friend zone so women who do that are just really basic bitches they're toxic um and a lot of women do it and so so but but the the issue what it really means is they're just not interested in you and they'll they'll gladly add you to their list of guys who are orbiting them 
the, the lie there is that if you just have patience and you just wait, the girl will, will you know, she'll eventually come around. 90% of the time, that's not true. Maybe, she, you know, if all her other guys, you know, stop texting her and she has no one else, she might fall back on you. They just, it, 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 you know, if she just wants to be friends, it just means she's not, she's not interested in you sexually. It just means she's not interested in you for a relationship. It just means that she is not interested in you, um, for the most part now you can get out it's possible to get out of the friend zone it's possible to you know be in that zone and if you take a sexual frame and if you banter sexually then it's possible that, that you can get out of that but for the most part it's just it's a dead end it will go nowhere she has already decided she doesn't want to sleep with you she has decided she doesn't want to date you she has decided she does not want to have a relationship with you which is why she initially put you in the friend zone in the first place it's possible to get out of it but it's usually a dead end it's usually a waste of time she's not gonna and and you should learn this the more you talk to girls you should learn this and if you actually think yeah i'm gonna be friends with her like you you're falling into a trap for, for you know for the most part and guys oftentimes learn so like i said this is really basic shit and it just is what it is all right jay lee thanks for listening peace